Welcome to Newfoundland. Today I'm going to speak about a small fish, the capelin, which is not very high in the food chain. Eh, someone has to do the job. But this fish is a major food source for birds, codfish and whales. Tomorrow I will take you to a beach where they come, they roll in the wave and lay their eggs on the dry sand before they die. It's quite spectacular and it's very unique. The black patch you can see in the water are capelin fish. Some spawn in deep water, like 20, 30, 40 meters and more, but others can spawn right on the beach. Wow, we are day seven and the beach is full of capelin. They finally came to spawn. When I see all this, that gives me hope for the future because even dead, those fish are alive. And now let's go for a dive to see what is happening underwater. Unfortunately, after three weeks of uh, diving here, uh, no capelin, no eggs on the bottom yet. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed because I would like, uh, I would uh, love to have uh, seen uh, them. It was difficult to say this one. <laughs> and uh, is it because the water temperature is too high? And it's a fact, it's higher than a few years ago, before the temperature was from two to four. Now it's more between five and seven. Uh, is it because it's overfish? Too many seners taking too many capelin? Uh, or is it just because it's a year like that and you know, you have cycles in nature, some years are good, some years are not. Hard to say. Anyway, I hope that the biomass is the same because uh, the capelin are the food source for cod and whales. The whales do need them. They will have to go back to uh, Dominican Republic to give birth. It's a long trip. And when they return, they starve, so they must feed. It will be sad if the whale population declines. We almost uh, saved them from the harpooners. So I just hope that uh, we will not uh, take uh, all their food. Let me tell you a few anecdotes uh, regarding the capelin and the whale. One day I have been very scared. We were two divers in the middle of the school of capelin spawning. The visibility was very poor because of uh, all those fish and moving the sand and all the activity. And all of a sudden, the light came through. All the fish opened like a curtain and that whale came full speed. So I wonder, you know, if you stand up and as the whale swims down like that to scoop the fish, uh, if you could end like Pinocchio, <laughs> with a canoe in the stomach, you know. So, yes, that was a very scary dive, uh, but so beautiful. And on the bottom, it's an um, entire uh, ecosystem that lived there. You see the flounders uh, eating the eggs, mm. like that. A codfish 
hunt in the capelin. A sea urchin grab the dead capelin, the sculpin fish as well. Sculpin fish, they do catch either living or dead capelin. So everyone is depending on the capelin population. The birds. And um, when I look on the sand, I can see if whales have come here to feed or not. So they make big marks on the sand as they, they kick off to go to the top with the tail. You see a, a trench three or four meters quite deep. And this is the tail of the humpback whale that went up like that. So it's, uh, it's interesting. And after several years of observation, I noticed that um, the whale, of course, are coming as the capelin come, but they don't feed massively at the beginning. It looks uh, like uh, they manage the resources. They wait, uh, the capelin have spawned. I always saw uh, big feeding of whales only when there were a lot of capelin eggs on the bottom. They are smart, you know. We should learn from them and listen to nature sometimes. Let me show you what I shot four years ago and you will see the spectacle of the spawning underwater. Mm -hmm.